Hi, welcome back to Gorgeously Oily. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my video. Today we're going to be working on a anti-aging, wrinkle-reducing serum. The essential oils that we're going to be using in the serum are known for their um, healing, their skin healing properties, um, reducing scarring, and, and wrinkle reducing. So we'll be working at my workstation over here like before. And so if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, first of all, I want to share something with everyone. Um, this is called the Essential Oils Pocket Reference. And I use this, um, it has a lot of information in it. It has, um, I think, over 300 types of essential oils. You can see I have pages marked. Um, it tells what parts of the body it supports. Um, what it's known for, what it's good for. Um, so I highly recommend one of these and I believe um, with Young Living if you um, order the Premier Kit I believe um, that you get this free. Don't quote me but I believe that that's true. If you're interested email me and, and I will look that up for you. Um, also there is a, a, a lady that um, did this book. It's called My Oily Concoctions, and I highly recommend this if you're going to be doing recipes. I love this. Um, basically, it's a book for you to record your recipes and write them down. I'm just starting, so I'm just getting mine. Um, the lady that I got this from, I got it at a, at a Young Living event. Um, her name is Deanna Ennin, and she's at sassygiggles.com, and I will put her um, website, yeah, I'll put her website down below so that you can look that up, but I highly recommend the oily concoctions. It just helps, helps keep you very organized, and, and as you can see, I use it, um, these two, quite often. Um, I have them tagged. Okay, so for our anti-aging, wrinkle-reducing serum, um, you're going to get you, you're going to want to get probably a six ounce. This is actually an eight ounce bottle, but you're in, and it's a pump. Um, I probably would do a, a dropper bottle if you have it. I just have a bunch of these pump bottles that are eight ounces, and I need to use them up. Um, I think a six ounce dropper bottle would probably be work a lot better. So what you're going to do um, with the um, bottle, and these are all sterile, so you're going to want to make sure um, that you wash them well, wash and dry them well with um, warm soapy water, or if, if you do have some thieves, remember thieves is like antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, it's anti-everything. So that is, is a, a really good um, antibacterial cleaner. Okay, you're gonna want, I use jojoba oil, okay? And so you don't have to get this brand, it's just the one that I bought. <laughs> um, actually, the next time I think I would prefer a brand that's in um, a darker bottle or a better container. But anyway, I'm going to use jojoba, you can use coconut, uh, sweet almond, primrose, whatever your preferred oil is. I just prefer the jojoba oil. So you're going to really want to fill a six ounce container, probably almost half full. Um, I'm not going to go quite half because that would be way too much for this one. So. I'm probably going to do closer to a third. Yeah. But in a six ounce bottle, it would be, um, if you have even smaller bottle with a dropper, like a two ounce, um, you may want to fill it three quarters or a good halfway full for sure. Okay. So, um, 
The next thing that you're going to put in is uh, frankincense. You're going to put the frankincense drops in. And I want to tell you a little bit about the frankincense really quick. So um, I have my handy dandy book here. So frankincense, if you've watched anything on skincare, frankincense is in every, is in the best skincare stuff. In England, there's some um, natural type skincare lines. They use frankincense and a lot of them are growing their own uh, or they're, they're getting their uh, frankincense from sustainable sources. So the frankincense has been around a really long time. Um, the name of frankincense is derived from a medieval French word uh, for real incense. Frankincense is considered the holy anointing oil in the Middle East and it has been used in religious ceremonies for thousands of years. It was uh, well known during the time of Christ for its anointing and healing powers. And it was one of the gifts given to Christ at his birth. If you remember uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And actually, frankincense is actually valued. Um, it was valued more than, than gold in uh, ancient times. And only um, those people who had great wealth and abundance were able to acquire it. Um, it's mentioned in one of the oldest known medical records, Ebers Papyrus. I hope I said that right. Dating from the 8, 16th century BC, um, an ancient Egyptian list of 877 prescriptions and recipes. Um, it is. It, it has frankincense. Is my understanding and what I the research I've done is one of the best essential oils for your skin. So. Frankincense, you're going to do 12 drops. And frankincense comes out really fast. So the oils are different consistencies. Some come out really fast and some um, tend to be a little slower. Okay. So the next oil that we're <clears throat> excuse me, going to use is, and I hope I say this right, I have the oil. I've been using the oil, but I'm just not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, it's Elemi. E L E M I L M I or L M I L M I has been uh, used in Europe for hundreds of years um, in salves for the skin. Um, it's included in in uh, celebrated he healing ointments and balms. It was used in the 17th century um, by a physician named J J Wecker on uh, battle wounds of soldiers, and it belongs to the same botanical family as frankincense. So. Um, you know, it's it's really good for your skin. Um, Egyptians used elemi for embalming. Don't let that freak you out. And subsequent cultures, particularly in Europe, used it for skin care and f for reducing fine lines and wrinkles and improving skin tone. So this definitely you want in, in your uh, serum for reducing fine lines and, and um, helping your skin tone. Sometimes, if you just improve the look of your skin, um, it makes a huge difference on, on the way the makeup sits on, the, on your skin as well. Okay, so Elemi is 10 drops. And I think it's a little... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's just a little thicker than the frankincense. Not much, but look, frankincense is... Very, seems very liquidy. Okay, and the next oil we're going to use, we're only going to use eight drops, and that's geranium. And geraniums, um, these, the frankincense, I, to me, the frankincense and the elemi, um, yeah, they, they tend to have a, um, I don't know, kind of a earthy, woodsy smell to me. Geranium is very, very floral. You don't need a whole lot of it. Um, geranium has been used for centuries um, for regenerating and healing skin conditions. Okay, that's um, the support it provides. It also has some medical properties that uh, support your overall health, such as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, hemostatic, which stops bleeding, antibacterial, antifungal, it improves blood flow, which is really good for your 
uh, skincare, by the way. So we're going to do eight drops. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It almost has the same consistency as the Elemi. It might be just a tad thicker. Okay. The next and last essential oil that we're going to use is lavender. Um, if I told you everything lavender was good for, we'd be here all day. There, I, I am shocked, and I've been learning so much about lavender and how many uses there are. Um, the French scientist René uh, Gatfosse, and I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, was the first to discover lavender's ability to promote tissue regeneration and speed wound healing. Um, when he was severely burned, his uh, he severely burned his arm in a lavatory explosion. Um, and he put lavender on there and, and I, I burned my finger one day and I remember hearing how great lavender was for burns. So I went and grabbed my lavender and put it on my finger where I had burnt and I didn't blister and it, it stung. I'm not going to say it didn't sting. It did sting, but the sting went away very quickly and the next day, I, I mean... I had no redness, no uh, blistering, nothing, and I thought for sure I was going to have a blister um, as I burn it pretty significantly. Okay, so for lavender, six drops, because lavender is pretty potent, so you only need six. See how much slower the lavender, so it is apparently a little thicker. Now, you can see it comes up to about here, and so if I had a um, six ounce dropper, it would be um, a lot better. You know what else would even be good? You could put it in a, in a roller, a roller bottle. Um, I've seen some of those online. Just make sure that it's a, a glass. You don't want to put your oils in plastic. Make sure it's a glass and um, that it's um, dark, like blue. I like the blue, but... Um, you see the essential oils are in these amber. You want um, blue or amber bottles and make sure they're glass. So you can put that in. Just give it a little shake just to mix it. And even after it sits on your counter, um, I keep mine on my counter in the bathroom. So even while, when I get ready to use it, I just kind of swirl them a little bit just to make sure that you know, there, there's no separation between the essential oil and the skincare oil that I, that I put in there. Uh, one, one thing I want you to know um, is when you pump your oil, um, don't just start pumping away. I did, that, I did that and I had so much oil on my face. It does not take a lot of oil. It takes very little oil. So all you start with one pump. And, and put that on your face. And if you need another one, just go back and do another pump and put it. Um, when you put the oil on your face, here's what I recommend. And if you have your own system, that's fine. What I recommend is that you um, cleanse your face twice. Remember we did the makeup remover pads. I, I recommend you cleanse your face twice. Um, always. Once gets the makeup off, second gets all the remaining dirt off. Um, and then um, once, and this is nighttime, you can use this. I, I've used it during the day and I also use it at night. So I call this my anti-aging one. I have two or three different um, recipes that I use. This particular recipe is a little different. I, I saw it. It's actually I didn't create it. I saw it online, but I didn't do it exactly the way that they had it done. So um, it's kind of like my own variation of the recipe. Um, I don't think they had the LME in it. They may have had, might have had some geranium, but I, I just like this particular mixture better. Um, and so uh, you could use it day or night. Just make sure you've cleansed and you can put it on at night. In the morning, whatever cleansing you do, I usually clean my face with um, uh, the water, micellar water. And so um, 
then I'll do my routine. But you don't, remember, you don't need a lot. And when you pump it, you just kind of warm it in your hands a little bit. And then you want to press it onto your face. You don't want to rub and pull your skin. You just want to press and go around. I also do um, my hand. Sorry about my Band-Aid. I cut my finger. Um, you can also do it on the back of your hands. I'm working on my hands right now um, with some oils. And we'll we'll do those in one of the videos as well. As well. Okay, so that's it's really simple. I made it kind of longer than it needed to be. But um, that's the anti-aging um, wrinkle reducing serum for day or night. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Email me. Please subscribe. You can ring the bell. So every time I release a video, I'm trying to be more consistent getting them out. I had to um, change some of my uh, technical equipment. <laughs> to make this work correctly so um, anyways i hope you have a great day um, thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll come back and watch more videos all right bye